All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 3. <clears throat> uh, in the last episode, the author went off um, on the kind of whole crew, but most specifically uh, the screenwriter or scriptwriter, uh, Gonsan, which kind of sucked considering like we found out how much of a fan of the series that he was as well. Um, he'd like been reading the, the manga since the first chapter. She's obviously very, very passionate about her series and the characters, and she wants it to be exactly right. So now she has taken on writing the script herself. She doesn't need to be paid, she doesn't need to be credited, she just wants it to be good and exactly how she wants it. So I guess we'll see how the script's gonna turn out. Um, hopefully they can, like, make it work. We're in a whole kind of two-hour, however long, uh, live play. Hopefully she understands that. Um, and yeah, hopefully they've got enough time to rehearse and actually relearn the whole fucking thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, and then Aqua and Akane are going to see a live play as well. So we'll see how that's going to go too. But yeah, as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. We're in Playboy, yeah, of all things. I was, I was missing Ruby content, not gonna lie. Yeah, well, I suppose that's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like someone really famous in that world. And now she can't fit in again because she hasn't been getting crazy DMs or anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a freaking while, considering. Oh, hello. Speaking of. Well, if they've been put on hold, why don't you do a show in the meantime, maybe? He's on a date. He's on a date. Smash heaven. Okay, interesting. Is the ceiling moving? Oh, damn. Yeah, was that a freaking black hole? What's the what's the need? <laughs> Damn, ping pong goes crazy. To be fair, before I watched Haikyuu, I never thought volleyball was that interesting. And now, yeah, here's what it is. 50 times more entertaining? Wow. Oh, that is... That is wow, yeah. <laughs> That's taking some funds. Also, what is in his... What is in his drink? Is this jello? Oh, she's so happy that he likes it. <laughs> she is thrilled. Oh, no. Let's go to Japan. Yeah, not every face is going to be like this. Oh, is this producer? What does he want? Oh, he's... Damn, so he's control of this show, too. That's crazy. Was it the director that Aqua had eyes on in this group as potential dad? How old's this dude? I really want to know what these little ice cube things are. They look like jelly. Oh, we knew that from the last episode, didn't we? Yeah, it's like... As a scriptwriter, and you know what plays are like, I don't think she has any idea what she's getting into. Exactly, yeah. They're, they're gonna need Goa back. See, he can write good shit. We knew this. But, oh, that's so annoying. We should bring the author to watch this show. I really hope they can get him back on. Yeah, but that's just because of your character. You give things a little nudge, okay. Aqua's getting involved. Shit happens when Aqua gets involved. She probably would have preferred it if you were involved in Sweet Today, but... <laughs> the constant beef of each other. He's still trying to get on a good side. <laughs> Bro, give it up. 
16? 17? 16? <laughs> How old is she? Like, what? 27? Mm, Listen, Aqua. Let her be. <laughs> Let's booze ASAP, lol. Yeah, she kind of needs some kind of reality check. And yeah, brown noses. Completely agree. If you want to shoot the general first, shoot their horse. Damn, okay, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, churn and jump off us. God, that is so much work. This is exactly how I, I view editors in real life, though. Like, not socially there. Just getting on with work all the time. Oh, she is literally a weekly jump over. Oh, Shonen Jump, wow. Not letting a popular manga come to end. Wow. <laughs> Basically just saying, you're not ending this shit, even if you want to. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that happened to her when she was a kid. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, but that's such an extreme, like... Goa was going to make a good play. Wow, okay. Me personally, I think probably about... 60-70% of the anime that comes out is kind of trash. So she's, she's, she's not wrong on a lot of that. <laughs> Damn, that is crazy. Shot straight over her sensei. But it is what it is. It's 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 an action manga compared to like what a romance manga. You have to be her ally, but you have to get her to do what's right. Her play will fall apart if she is the one to write the script. Is it tickets to the play? I hope it is. You're working in the pitch black dark, bro. Put a lamp on. It's bad for your eyes. Oh, never mind. She's got a lamp. <laughs> but that's only really on her work. She's overworking herself. Did you fire your assistants? Bro. You need to step back. You need to take a break. That's nowhere near done. So has she, been, has she been doing her manga all by herself without assistance? Brother. Oh, that is too much work. I'd be sick. <laughs> they put on our One Punch Man level of uh, detail at weekly. Yeah, she's definitely being awful to them. I wonder if it'd be better for her because she wants to keep this level of detail if she were to switch to it being a monthly manga. Damn, bro, you didn't need to say that. She's in your corner. It's more entertaining, yeah? <laughs> Oof, she's going in. Damn, they're actually going off on each other. That's so funny. <laughs> bro, this is so funny. <laughs> oh man. This is basically the manga artist equivalent of fist fighting right now. <laughs> How did you hear that? Little Miss Extrovert. <laughs> oh, she really struggles. I'm glad that like Sensei's here though to actually like drill this into her. She's not a yes man. She looks like she's dying. Ooh, that is a lot. 
Oh, she's got ink all over her hands. Meet them halfway. Exactly. This is what you got to do in this project. Yeah, <laughs> so did she. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so cute. Because it really pissed her off as well. How much she loves sweet today. This is why she's so passionate about this project working because she doesn't want ha want what happened to Sweet Today happen to her, which it won't. Sweet Today was just poorly produced. <laughs> I kind of popped off on it. That was the saving grace. Did she not watch the last episodes on them? Oh, she did give her those. He did give her those tickets. Nice, nice. I'm glad she. I'm glad Aqua came up with that. I'd have done the same. It'd be smart to show her that. Right, so that was Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 3. Very good episode there. Um, I like that at the end there, uh, where Sensei is said to um, Miss, Miss, Miss Manga Author Ak Akibo? Akib I can't remember names. Um, basically like, hey, uh, take these tickets. You should go kind of see this play for reference. And then presumably straight after the play, or maybe after the play, she'll see like on a post or something like that, that this was written by none other than Goa-san. So, yeah, she's sending her in thinking like, okay, well, you should go and see it if you're going to continue writing the script, but hopefully she'll have a change of heart after the play, after she's seen it, because clearly the man can write for plays, especially, and she has no idea how they work. So, overall, a very good episode. I really appreciate that she kind of went in on her there, like, as they say, not being a yes man, telling her exactly what she needs to hear. We also got to see another side of Apiko as well. Um, and basically, like, how much she cares about Sweet today, and that, that's probably influenced her decision on this whole thing as well. So, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.